Hey guys, it's Katie Kelly, and today we're going to be installing SMB's cold air intake, part number 75569, that fits the Sierra and Silverado 1500 5.3 and 6.2 liter. So now that the engine's off and the parking brake's engaged, it's time to disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. After removing it, we like to put a glove over it so it doesn't come back into contact. Next, we're going to remove the two torques from the mass airflow sensor. After you've moved the torques from the mass airflow sensor, disconnect the red tab and remove the connector from the mass airflow sensor. Next, we're going to loosen the clamp from the intake tube and remove it from the factory air box. Next, we're going to remove the factory hoses by pushing in the gray button. It helps to push in before you pull out. Don't forget to disconnect the one on the other side. Next, we're going to loosen the clamp on the throttle body. And once you do that, the whole resonator box should just lift up. Next, we're going to remove the factory hoses from the valve covers by pushing in the gray button and pulling up. And don't forget the one on the other side. Next, remove the 10 millimeter bolt on the fender to the crossbar. Now you're going to remove the four push pins on the passenger side from the front cover. Now we're going to lift up the front cover to gain access to the other 10 millimeter to finish removing the crossbar. In order to remove the factory air box, you'll need to disconnect the bracket from the mass airflow sensor harness. And then when removing the air box, it helps to pull it out at an angle because the inlet is still in the fender. Now we're going to remove all four bolts from the factory mounting plate. After you have all four bolts removed from the factory mounting plate, you can go ahead and remove it. Next, we're gonna install the silicone fender seal onto the SMB air box. So one cool thing about this kit is that it comes with an optional box plug. So we left it out to get maximum air, but if you're driving in a dirty, dusty environment and you don't want to service your filter as much, you may want to consider installing it. So for those of you with HIDs, you're going to have one more step. So since your headlights are going to stick out a little farther, you're going to need a little bit more room. So you're just going to remove this 10 millimeter bolt in the front and the 10 millimeter bolt in the back. And then once you do that, you can take the coolant reservoir and set it on top of the engine and that'll give you a little bit more space. With the bolt and the nut removed, we can now put the coolant reservoir on top of the engine. So whether you have HIDs or not, removing the coolant reservoir gives you more space and it makes it easier to drop the air box in. Before bolting down the air box, you're gonna wanna put the coolant reservoir back in place and then bolt it down. Just lift up the corner of the air box, reach underneath to put the bolt back in place. Take the four provided bolts and washers and fasten down the air box. Now we're gonna install the filter. So SMB offers two different types of filters, the cotton cleanable filter and the dry extendable. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna use the cotton cleanable. So we're gonna install the filter and make sure you push it all the way until it latches in to the air box. Next, you need to determine what coupler you need. If you have the 6.2 liter engine, you're gonna use the larger coupler and if you have the 5.3, you're gonna use the smaller. Now that we've determined what coupler we need, we're gonna install the larger end onto the SMB intake tube, followed by the coupler. Now it's time to install the mass airflow sensor plate and gasket onto the new SMB intake tube, and it's important to line up the two arrows. When installing the mass airflow sensor, make sure that the holes line up. You're going to want to make sure the clamps are in place on the filter and on the coupler before installing the intake tube into the filter and then the throttle body. Now that the tube's in place, go ahead and tighten down the clamps. Don't forget the one on the throttle body. Reconnect the mass airflow sensor and push in the lock tab. Next, you're going to take the provided tubes and connect it from the valve cover to the intake tube and then tighten down the clamps and make sure to do it on both sides.
Now it's time to install the clear S&B lid, but first you have to remove the protective layer. Don't forget to remove the protective layer that surrounds the logo. We're almost done, just don't forget the edge trim. Now it's time to install the S&B lid. Don't forget to tighten it down using the provided hardware. Last but not least, it's time to reconnect the crossbar. Don't forget the one underneath the front cover. Don't forget to put the push clips back into place. SMB provides a silver carb sticker with all your intake's important information, so you want to go ahead and place that near the intake. After the install is complete, just remember to attach the negative terminal back on the battery. Now that we're all done here, you're going to see a 40.16% airflow increase over stock and an efficiency rating of 99.15%. And you don't have to take my word for it, you can check out our full test results on our website, svfilters.com.